The European Council is the institution of the European Union that comprises the heads of state or government of the member states, along with the Council's own president and the president of the Commission. The High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy also takes part in its meetings. Established as an informal body in 1975, the Council was formalized as an institution in 2009 upon the entry into force of the Treaty of Lisbon. While the European Council has no formal legislative power, it is a strategic body that provides the Union with general political directions and priorities, and acts as a collective presidency. The meetings of the European Council, commonly referred to as EU summits, are chaired by its president and take place at least twice every six months. Usually in the Justice Lipsius Building, the headquarters of the Council of the European Union in Brussels. Decisions of the European Council are taken by consensus, except where the treaties provide otherwise. The current president of the European Council is Herman van Rompuy. History the first summits of EU heads of state or government were held in February and July 1961. They were informal summits of the leaders of the European Community and were started due to then French President Charles de Gaulle's resentment at the domination of supranational institutions over the integration process, but petered out. The first influential summit held, after the departure of de Gaulle, was the Hague Summit of 1969 which reached an agreement on the admittance of the United Kingdom into the community and initiated foreign policy cooperation taking integration beyond economics. The summits were only formalized in the period between 1974 and 1988. At the December summit in Paris in 1974, following a proposal from then French President Valla copywriter Y. Giscard d'Estaing, it was agreed that more high-level, political input was needed following the empty chair crisis and economic problems. The inaugural European Council, as it became known, was held in Dublin on 10 and 11 March 1975 during Ireland's first presidency of the Council of Ministers. In 1987, it was included in the treaties for the first time and had a defined role for the first time in the Maastricht Treaty. At first only two meetings per year were required, now there are on average six European Councils each year. The seat of the Council was formalized in 2002, basing it in Brussels. In addition to usual European Councils, there are the occasional extraordinary meetings, as for example in 2001 when the European Council gathered to lead the EU's response to the 11th September attacks. Some meetings of the European Council are seen by some as turning points in the history of the European Union. For example, 1969, The Hague foreign policy and enlargement. 1974, Paris, creation of the Council, 1985, Milan, initiate IGC leading to the Single European Act, 1991, Maastricht, agreement on the Maastricht Treaty. 1993, Copenhagen, leading to the definition of the Copenhagen Criteria. 1997, Amsterdam, agreement on the Amsterdam Treaty. 1998, Brussels, selected member states to adopt the euro. 1999. Cologne, Declaration on Military Forces. 1999, Tampere, Institutional Reform, 2000, Lisbon, Lisbon Strategy, 2002, Copenhagen, Agreement for May 2004 Enlargement. 2007, Lisbon, Agreement on the Lisbon Treaty. 2009, Brussels, Appointment of First President and Merged High Representative, 2010, European Financial Stability Facility. As such, the European Council had already existed before it gained the status as an institution of the European Union with the entering into force of the Treaty of Lisbon. Indeed, Article 214, 2, of the Treaty Establishing the European Community provided that a Euro the Council, meeting in the composition of heads of state or government and acting by a qualified majority, shall nominate the person it intends to appoint as president of the Commission a Euro unregistered trademark. This may be seen as an early codification of the European Council and the treaties. In the event, Article 15 of the Treaty on European Union officially introduces the term European Council as a substitute for the phrase Council, of the European Union meeting in the composition of the heads of state or government, 
which was previously sometimes used in the treaties to refer to this body. The Treaty of Lisbon made the European Council a formal institution distinct from the Council of the EU, and created the present longer-term and full-time presidency. As an outgrowth of the Council of the EU, the European Council had previously followed the same presidency, rotating between each member state. While the Council of the EU retains that system, the European Council established, with no change in powers, a system of appointing an individual for two and a half years. Following the ratification of the treaty in December 2009, the European Council elected the then Prime Minister of Belgium Herman van Rompuy as its first permanent president. Powers and Functions The European Council is an official institution of the EU, mentioned by the Lisbon Treaty as a body which shall provide the Union with the necessary impetus for its development. Essentially it defines the EU's policy agenda and has thus been considered to be the motor of European integration. It does this without any formal powers, only the influence it has being composed of national leaders. Beyond the need to provide impetus, the Council has developed further roles. To settle issues outstanding from discussions at a lower level, to lead in foreign policy a euro acting externally as a collective head of state, formal ratification of important documents, and involvement in the negotiation of the treaty changes. Since the institution is composed of national leaders, it gathers the executive power of the member states and has thus a great influence in high-profile policy areas as for example foreign policy. It also exercises powers of appointment, such as appointment of its own president, the High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, and the President of the European Central Bank. It proposes, to the European Parliament, a candidate for President of the European Commission. Moreover, the European Council influences police and justice planning, the composition of the Commission, matters relating to the organization of the rotating Council presidency, the suspension of membership rights, and changing the voting systems through the Passerelle Clause. Although the European Council has no direct legislative power, under the emergency break procedure, a state outvoted in the Council of Ministers may refer contentious legislation to the European Council. However, the state may still be outvoted in the European Council. Hence with powers over the supranational executive of the EU, in addition to its other powers, the European Council has been described by some as the Union's supreme political authority. Composition The European Council consists of the heads of state or government of the member states, alongside its own president and the commission president. The meetings used to be regularly attended by the national foreign minister as well, and the Commission President likewise accompanied by another member of the Commission. However, since the Treaty of Lisbon, this has been discontinued, as the size of the body had become somewhat large following successive accessions of new member states to the Union. Meetings can also include other invitees, such as the President of the European Central Bank, as required. The Secretary-General of the Council attends, and is responsible for organizational matters, including minutes. The President of the European Parliament also attends to give an opening speech outlining the European Parliament's position before talks begin. Additionally, the negotiations involve a large number of other people working behind the scenes. Most of those people, however, are not allowed to the conference room, except for two delegates per state to relay messages. At the push of a button members can also call for advice from a permanent representative via the anti group in an adjacent room. The group is composed of diplomats and assistants who convey information and requests. Interpreters are also required for meetings as members are permitted to speak in their own languages. As the composition is not precisely defined, some states which have a considerable division of executive power can find it difficult to decide who should attend the meetings. While an MEP, Alexander Stubb argued that there was no need for the President of Finland to attend council meetings with or instead of the Prime Minister of Finland. In 2008, having become Finnish Foreign Minister, Stubb was forced out of the Finnish delegation to the emergency council meeting on the Georgian crisis because the President wanted to attend the high-profile summit as well as the Prime Minister. This was despite Stubb being head of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe at the time which was heavily involved in the crisis. 
problems also occurred in Poland where the President of Poland and the Prime Minister of Poland were of different parties and had a different foreign policy response to the crisis. A similar situation arose in Romania between President Traian Bar Florin Sescu and Prime Minister Carl Florin Lin Popescu Tar Florin Raisianu in 2007 a Euro 2008 and again in 2012 with Prime Minister Victor Ponta, who both opposed the President. Eurozone summits. A number of ad hoc meetings of heads of state or government of the Euro area countries were held in 2010 and 2011 to discuss the sovereign debt crisis. It was agreed in October 2011 that they should meet regularly twice a year. This will normally be at the end of a European Council meeting and according to the same format, but usually restricted to the heads of state or government of countries whose currency is the euro. President The President of the European Council, currently Hermann van Rompuy of Belgium, is elected for a once renewable term of two and a half years. The role as president in office is in no sense equivalent to an office of a head of state, merely a primus inter pairs role among other European heads of government. The president in office is primarily responsible for preparing and chairing the council meetings, and has no executive powers other than the task of representing the union externally. The president must report to the European Parliament after each European Council meeting. The post was created by the Treaty of Lisbon and was subject to a debate over its exact role. Prior to Lisbon, the presidency rotated in accordance with the presidency of the Council of the European Union. The leader of the Council presidency country can still act as president when the permanent president is absent. Members, notes, used in the calculation of the qualified majority voting in cases when this voting rule applies to the European Council. The share of the total population is based on the decision of the Council of the European Union on member states' populations for 2014. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O English media dubbed the post as Prime Minister. PES General Secretary Achim Post stated that a Euro OF PES sends the warmest congratulations to the BSP on the formation of the new government in Bulgaria. Plumen Ryszarski becomes the 10th PES head of state or government in the European Council although not member of BSP. See the PES press release, new Bulgarian government will be one with an irreproachable sense of integrity, responsibility and urgency, says Sergei Stanishov. Elected as MP from KBTHSHTH list led by Bulgarian Socialist Party during the 2013 parliamentary campaign. The Irish Prime Minister is commonly referred to as the Tower Sage in both Irish and English. C. Article 28.5.1 A Degree of the Constitution of Ireland Member of the EPP Congress in quality of EPP Head of State although officially not member of PDL. See for instance the EPP webpage, 1, or press releases from EPP Congresses, such as the EPP Summit discusses the situation in Ukraine. Banking Union. Adopts Declaration on Industrial Competitiveness in Europe, Brussels, March 20, 2014. Previously Democratic Party. Supported by the PDL during the 2009 presidential campaign. Officially not affiliated during presidency according to the Constitution. Political Parties. Almost all members of the European Council are members of a political party at national level and most of these are members of a European-level political party. These frequently hold pre-meetings of their European Council members, prior to its meetings. However, the European Council is composed to represent the EU's states rather than political parties and decisions are generally made on these lines, though ideological alignment can color their political agreements and their choice of appointments. The table below outlines the number of leaders affiliated to each party and their total voting weight. The map to the right indicates the alignment of each individual country. Seat and meetings. Meetings of the European Council usually take place four times a year in Brussels. Meetings traditionally last for two days, sometimes even longer when contentious issues were on the agenda. However, President Van Rompuy prefers to keep the summit to a single day. Until 2002, the venue of the council meeting rotated between member states, as its location was decided by the country holding the rotating presidency. However, 
the 22nd Declaration attached to the Treaty of Nice stated that, as from 2002, one European Council meeting per presidency will be held in Brussels. When the Union comprises 18 members, all European Council meetings will be held in Brussels. Between 2002 and 2004, half the councils were held in Brussels and, after the 2004 enlargement, all were. The European Council uses the same building as the Council of the European Union, that is, the Justice Lipsius Building. However, some extraordinary councils have taken place in the member state holding the presidency, for example, 2003 in Rome or 2005 in Hampton Court Palace. A new building is currently being built at the northern end of the adjacent historical RA copyright Sidence Palace complex for use as a purpose-built summit building by the European Council and the Council. It is due to be completed in 2013. The choice of a single seat was due to a number of factors, mostly logistical and security, as well as Brussels having fixed facilities for the Council and journalists at every meeting. Having a permanent seat in Brussels also emphasized that the European Council is an EU institution rather than a summit of sovereign states in the manner of the G20. Some have argued it is the de facto EU government, while others underline that it is the Commission that is the EU's day-to-day -day government and the European Council can best be compared to a collective head of state. In 2007, the new situation for locating meetings became a source of contention with the Portuguese government wanting to sign the Lisbon Treaty in Lisbon, Portugal. The Belgian government, however, was keen not to set a precedent and insisted that the regular end-of-year summit took place in Brussels as usual. This meant that after the signing, photo suit, and formal dinner, the attendees of the summit were transferred from Lisbon to Brussels. Mirrored with the travelling circus of the European Parliament, this garnered protests from environmental groups describing the hypocrisy of demanding lower carbon emissions while flying across Europe for the same summit for political reasons. There are no current plans to hold meetings outside of Brussels, except for force majeure. President's Cabinet, although the European Council is, under the terms of the Lisbon Treaty, a separate institution of the EU, it does not have its own administration. The administrative support for both the European Council and its President is provided by the General Secretariat to the Council of the European Union. The President does have, however, his own private office of close advisers. Van Rompuy chose as his Chief of Staff Baron Franz van Doel, formerly Belgian Ambassador to, variously, the USA, the UN, the EU and NATO and Chief of Staff of several Belgian Foreign Ministers. Also in his team are the former UK Labour MEP Richard Corbett, former Hungarian ambassador to NATO Zolta N. Martinas, former head of the EU's Economic and Financial Committee Odal Renor Basso, and Van Rompuy's long-standing press officer Dirk de Backer. Reflection Group Horizon 2020 Euro 2030, the European Council of December 2007 established the Reflection Group Horizon 2020 Euro 2030 to assist the European Union in effectively anticipating and meeting challenges in the longer term horizon of 2020 to 2030. The group of 12 is chaired by Felipe Gonzalez. It started the work in December 2008 and presented its report to the European Council in May 2010. Its members were Felipe Gonzalez. Byra Van E. Freiberger, Jorma Alila, Like Free, Rem Koulis, Richard Lambert, Mario Monti, Rainer Mar One Quarter NZ, Head of Research and Development at Erst Group Bank AG and Senior Fellow at the German National Library of Economics, Calypso Nicola Dias, Nicole Notat, Ex Secretary General of the Trade Union CFDT, and she is currently Chief Executive Officer of Video. Wolfgang Schuster Let's war on registered trademark czar, see also, Lake and Indicators, Euro Summit, Presidency of the Council of the European Union, References. External links, Official Website, Archive of European Integration A Euro Summit Guide, European Council Collection of Documents, CVCE, Reflection Group established by the European Council.